Hi friends, welcome to the second part of this video where I'll teach you how do we design this uh, facade in uh, using Grasshopper. So uh, let's get started. I will create a fresh new file. Select this surface. Create a new component, say surface. Okay, you can get this component over here as well. Okay, I'll click the surface. Right click on the surface and say set one surface. Okay, so it automatically sets this surface. Now I will select the surface and say hide. Next step is to create the floor slabs in this facade. So I'll use the component contour. Okay, and if you have trouble seeing the names of this component, I will go in display, draw full names. Okay, so it says, okay, so this is the shape surface. Okay point will be the origin point which is 0 which is fine now the direction will be z direction vertical okay and the distance will be floor to floor height which is 3 meters okay so we have got all the floor lines in the facade now next step would be to uh, dispatch the floor lines okay into alternate uh, sequence so I'll use a dispatch command okay so this is the list now if you see in branches so we need to flatten this output okay so we have got this flattened result now okay we'll check the dispatch pattern it's true and false so the first item will be in list a second item will be in list b then third item list a fourth item list b okay which will give us the result as uh, we put curves okay so if you see list one will have all the alternate lines okay which i will command as curve one copy control c control v and put the list b into this and rename it as list curve two good so now next step would be to divide these curves okay based on segments or we'll just create the points so I'll just say so I'll divide curve okay I'll take this curve okay and currently we have got 10 divisions by default okay so I'll put 6 divisions for now okay we can go with 10 as well and I'll rename it as number of divisions Per floor okay then I will get the rectangle component now it is asking for the plane and this is giving me points so we need to create rectangles in X and Z plane which is this and this so I'll put an X Z plane over here X Z and I will put this point as origin and put the plane over here okay in planes and I will set the die size of the X and Z so the X size will be the length of the segment okay so I will just say length okay get the length of these curves okay I'll divide the length by the segments and put this dimension in the X now the Y direction would be the same which is flow to floor height so I'll just place this into this beautiful now just to check the data structure right now it is creating lot of curves over here so we will go into the data structure and we will see that the this we are getting in grafted format and this we are giving in flat format which is 25 numbers so 25 numbers is basically one number per floor right so we need to graph this item so that 
that 25 number goes for the whole set and the second number goes for the second set in that way um, so we have got this rectangles now one thing to notice is we need to remove the last uh, list of rectangles so what we'll do is we'll go into points okay and if you remember if we delete this last point the rectangle will get deleted so I'll just move these components aside and say curl index so I want to remove the last item so there is a simple way of removing the last item by putting this list of points okay so if you see there is seven items in each list one two three four five six seven now I need to remove the last item so just to make this script parametric okay if I reverse this list and make the last item and the first item by right clicking on it and saying reverse okay and put the index as zero okay so my last item will get removed okay and then I'll reverse it again to maintain the original sequence of data and I'll put in this okay so we have got this rectangle removed okay beautiful so we have got this first part of the script ready in the second part I will teach how do I make these boxes in facade also teach you how do I apply materials to make it look a presentable render so stay tuned and uh, watch the second video to complete the facade